Good day, everyone, and welcome to the second part of our discussion about partnership accounting. So in the first video, we talked about partnership formation, and this time we are going to talk about partnership operations. But the focus of our discussion this afternoon is about the distribution of profits and losses among partners. And also we will consider the considerations or the allowances. We have sales, interests, and um, bonuses among partners. So before we answer the following problem, so I have prepared here four problems about partnership operations. Let us first have an overview of the rules for distribution of profits and losses. So actually this is based on our civil code about partnership. So let us have first the rules for distribution of profits. But before that, let us have um, a recap of what a partnership is. Partnership is a contract between two or more persons combining or contributing assets. We have money, property, or even their industry or their intellect into a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves. So there is division of profits there, but just because the law states division of profits doesn't mean that there would be no division of losses. Of course, um, there may be times that we have some income and there may be times that we will have some losses. So um, there is a rule for profits and there is another rule for losses. So let us have an overview of those rules. First, we have rules for distribution of profits. The first one is that this is the... Um, Kumbaga, the priority. So the list will be in accordance to its priority. So the first priority is the partner's agreement. Partnership is defined as a contract. And I believe that some part of the contract, there is an agreement between the partners on sa nila pag divide ang profit. It could be 50-50 or equally distributed if there are only two partners. Or it could be the uh, um, any other ratio like 60-40, 70-30, it depends upon, again, the partner's agreement. So if in the contract of partnership, there is a specified agreement as to the, contribu the distribution of profit, then that agreement should be followed. All right. So that's the first priority. But there are also times when partners maybe forget to um, put some... Uh, or forget to decide as to their distribution of profits so let us have this rule second one if there is no agreement in the contract as to the distribution we will follow the capital contributions of the partner so it could be based on their original capital investment so let's say i invested 50 percent and the other part partner invested 25 percent of the the original capital of the, the partnership and the other one also invested 25 so upon the wish upon arriving at a certain profit for the certain period i will have 50 percent of the profit the other partners will have 25 25 okay so that is based on criteria number one or category one how about letter b well from the term beginning of the year capital so it, it doesn't matter if there would be withdrawals within the year so the the um the basis for the distribution is the ratio of your beginning capital okay and it could also be the end of the year capital or the average so the average considers the movement of the capital if there are withdrawals or additional investments during the year so we will compute for the capital average of the partner and based on that average capital we will have um, the ratio in which we are going to base our distribution of profit so we will have some um, practical um, application of these later in, uh, in the problems but before we proceed to the rules for distribution, let us take note of this. Note, industrial partner must receive a just and equitable share before the capital capitalist partners divide the profits. Although in our video last time, I didn't mention about um, this kind of partners or the type of partners. Um, 
there is what we call capitalist capitalist partners these partners are the ones contributing assets okay and the un industrial partners are those partners who contribute their expertise their skills their their knowledge their intellect in the business their service all right so before distribution of of profits among the capitalist partners or those partners who contributed cash or any other property the industrial partner or that partner nga nitutok jud sa company by um, by his or her service that partner must receive a just and equitable share first okay so let's take note of that what is just and equitable share ma'am that's a matter of judgment so depending on siya sa so partners kung unsang ilahang basis sa just and equitable share again that is a matter of a judgment all right so let us bear these in mind so that um if in case there is an agreement between the partners and there are also um information about their capital contributions we will know na ah okay partners agreement is the first priority but if wala then I could go to this priority. Okay? Now, what about the rules for distribution of losses? Is it the same, ma'am? Then let's find out. Distribution of losses is actually number one. Priority is the same with the distribution of profits. Partners agreement. Because again, this is a contract. Okay? So, kung unsa ang ilahang nahisgutan with the consent of all the partners, then that should be followed. Okay? But in case... In case nga wala naghisgut ang partner sa contract as to the distribution of losses, the profit sharing ratio will be followed. What does this mean? Kung wala sila nagsabot kung unsa o nila pagdivide ang lugi, ang ilahang sundon kadtong ilahang gisabutan as to the division of income. Okay? This is basically this. Kung naa sila na sabutan dinhi as a distribution of profits, maupod ilang i-apply sa distribution of losses in case wala sila i specify, okay? So this is again in the order of priority. Kung wala ang number 1, you could go to number 2. Now what if ma'am wala pud sila nag profit sharing ratio? All right. Then we will move to the next priority, the capital contributions. This is actually number 2 in your rule number Num in the rule for distribution of profits right so i will no longer explain and then let's take note again of this purely industrial partner shall not be liable for any losses why ma'am murag unfair man nga nag nag bear or gi 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 absorb sa ubang partners specifically the capitalist partners ang atong losses but nga no si industrial partner wala naman siya share basically purely industrial partner wala gid siya share sa asset sa company wala siya gid distribute ay gi contribute nga asset because again industrial partner only contributes his service okay his intellect his expertise so service purely service ra gyud so um the sense nga nalugi ang kumpanya bisan pa og unsa unsa kahago unsang klase sa service and hard work ang iyang gi-invest na lugi gihapon ang kumpanya i guess that is enough para sa iyang side nga lugi okay naghago pa siya unya na pagyud siya share sa lugi nga kwarta i mean mutapal pagyud siya kay nalugi murag extra burden as on, on in his part right unlike sa capitalist partner nga okay kapwa lang sila hayahay lang sila sa company wala sila gibuhat or wala sila ni, sur ni serbisyo dito and then okay nalugi ang kumpanya sige tapla nila tapal okay unlike ni industrial partner ni serbisyo na siya unya ni lu nalugi mutapal na pud siya murag unfair pud sa iyang part because his service alone has already been in loss Diba? So, ang iyang service, nahimo na itong uh, iyang share sa loss. Okay? So, again, purely industrial partners shall not be liable for any losses. Purely. So, ma'am, what if um, nag-invest ko kwarta and then at the same time, I also give my service to the company. So, dili na ba kung mag-share sa lugi? You are not a pure industrial partner in that case. You are called capitalist industrial partner 
So you will have a certain share of the loss pero dili ang anak kabugat as the capital capitalist partners because again your service has already um con has already absorbed the loss of the company okay so this is also this is only for purely industrial partner and then let's proceed to the other considerations so these other considerations or allowances is just a way or an approach of how to divide profits so what am i talking about we have here first interest on capital so how to how to divide profits it could be first hatagan sa natug interest ang capital then any excess will be divided according to the ratio agreed or equally or depende sa ilaha or it could be hatagan sa natug salaries especially those um, partners who are also managing the company or we call them um, managing partners so na contribute na sila og money and then nag um, sila pa yun ang nanguna yun or um, what do you call that nag na, nagpa upfront dito as a company so dili sila tong mga yolo mga kapwa nga, nga classes sa partners so active gid sila nagid sila active participation in the management of the partnership so we give them salaries okay and also bonuses so because of their hard work nga ing aning ing aning a certain nga, nga profit nga naabot sa company so they deserve a bonus as well but take note this interest salaries and bonuses this does not or these do not reflect in the income statement of the company. Example, salaries. Kanang salaries nga atong pasabot. It's it it is not salaries expense that we usually encounter in the income statement. Kay kanang nga salaries expense that is for our employees only or your interest hindi po yan siya yung interest income or interest expense what we have here is interest on capital hindi po siya interest sa loan hindi po siya interest sa utang so again this will not reflect in your income statement this is purely a way of dividing profits among partners so pamaagi lang ni siya para ma-divide ang profits uh, justifiably or reasonably but it has nothing to do with the expenses of the company okay so there there you have it um partnership operations specifically the distribution of profits and losses so with these in mind let us apply it in problems one two and three four let's begin with problem one Elisa Diaz, uh, Diaz, sorry, <laughs> Elisa Diaz and Maria Concepcion Manalo formed a partnership, investing 330 and 110 respectively. Determine the partner's participation in the 2019 profit of 420,000 under each of the following independent assumptions. Pasabot, si letter B, wala siya nag-agad kang C, wala siya nag-agad kang D, so independent yun siya ha, ng mga assumptions. So it's as if A stands alone, B stands alone, and so on. So, letter A. No agreement concerning division of profit. So, unsa ganito, basta walay agreement. Depends upon the capital contribution of the partners, tama? Ayan. Pag wala po ito, proceed po tayo sa number two. Capital contributions. But ma'am, anong pipiliin? Is it this or this or this or this? Actually, we could proceed to letter B na lang. Okay? Kasi wala rin namang agreement. So, Pwede na ito apply sa letter B. Divided in the ratio of original capital investment. So, ito po yun, original capital investment. So, let's solve for letter B. And then, after that, let's have letter C, D, and E. So, isa-isahin po natin. Let's start with B. Alright. So, ano po ba ang dapat natin gawin? First, let us have um, a computation of the ratio of Diaz and Manalo. So, let us first know how many percent is allocated to Diaz and to Manalo based on their original capital investment. So Diaz contributed 30, 330 originally and Manalo contributed 110 originally with a total of 440. So out of 440, how many percent did Diaz contributed? So that is 440 divided by 330. So Diaz contributed, I'm sorry, balik 
330 divided by 440, sorry. So D has contributed 75% um, of the total original capital investment and Manalo, on the other hand, contributed 25% of it with a total of, of course, that's 100%. So let us now divide the profit. We have a profit of 420, right? Okay. And according to this um criterion divided in the ratio of original capital investment that means if we have 420 profit for 2019 75 of which should be allocated to diaz 25 should be for manalo so what is 75 percent of 420 that is 315,000. and how much is the 25 percent of that that's 105. So if you, you will add that to, of course, we will have 420,000. So based on that, we will have a journal entry. Let us close the income summary account. Where are we going to close the income summary? Income summary is 420. It's our income. We are going to close it to the capital, balance, uh, the capital accounts of Elisa Diaz and Concepcion Manalo. But... Let's assume that the company is using the drawings account in distributing the profit. So this is the practical way that partnership um, applies. So kung mag-distribute mag sila o profit, wala nila ginadiretso sa capital. Although not all partnerships apply this, but most of the companies or partnerships, kaniyang ilahang ginagamit sa ilahang accounting. So, delete nila ginadiretso sa capital account because um, anytime, pwede kuhaon sa partner ang iyahang share sa profit. So, delete niya kailangan ipundo sa company. Okay? So, let us use, again, um, the drawings account. So, if you have this amount in your drawings, that means that anytime of the year or of the current period, for the next accounting period, kung wala mo nagsabot nga kailangan ninyo na siya idugang sa inyong capital account, pwede na ninyo siya i-withdraw. Of course, that is your profit. Para asa sa pamandiay nga ni-invest ka sa company kung wala kayo mapakinabangan, di ba? So, at the end of the period, pwede na to ni siya i-withdraw. But it depends upon you. Pwede po na idugang na to na siya sa atuang capital aron mas dako pag yun ang potential sa company nga mag-grow. Di ba? Naman tayo ginat gina term nga patulugon lang sa okay so ta, pwede po na ato lang siyang patulugon sa, sa company so that means ato lang sa siyang ipagamit sa company so that the company will have more resources for its operation but if you want to withdraw it you may okay anyway this is your part or this is the the fruit of investing and um, taking risk in this company okay so again let us use the drawings account Manalo has 105. Okay? So, dito po yan siya, tsaka dito. So, this will be our entry to close our income summary account and to distribute to each partner their share of the profit. So, let's proceed to item letter C. Interest at the rate of 8% allowed on original investments and the remainder divided in the ratio 2 is to 3. So, let us have a pro forma schedule. So, this is what we call or what I call a pro forma schedule. So, let us have here first interest. Kasi yun naman ang sabi niya, interest rate of 8%. So, hatagan sa daw natuog, pahinungod, kumbaga, ang investment sa matag partner by giving them a certain interest of their capital contribution. Diaz contributed 330 so let us give Diaz 8% of that. And how much is that? That is 26,400. And we have Manalo invested 100, 110. And then 8% um, of 110. So let us give first Manalo 8,800. A total of... 35,200. And again, we have profit of 420. So, humanatag hatag sa ilaha, sa ilahang mga 
um, interest on capital or pahinungod kumbaga sa ilahang pag-invest or sa ilahang investment. So, any remainder or balance will be divided 2 is to 3. So, pila day ang balance? 420,000 ang profit. 35,200 ato nang na-distribute. Pila na lang ang nabilin? Simply, we deduct. We have 384,800 nga nabilin. And this 384,800 will be divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So that's 384,800 times 2 divided by 5 because that's 2 plus 3, so over 5. And then Manalo has 384,800 times 3 divided by 5. And all right. How much is that? So I, I, I forgot again to tell you that upon watching this video, you should have your calculator beside you, a pen and a paper. Okay, that's one five three nine twenty, and we have here two thirty eight eighty. Okay, so let's add. Kung mo equal ba yun siya? Kung 420. Ay, I'm sorry. So, hindi na masama ang, ang, ang distribution. Tama. 180. And then, 239. Sige, add nga natin. Kung mag equal ba siya kung 420. Alright, very good. Okay, so there you go. 180 for Diaz, 239 for Manalo, and let us again make a journal entry by closing the income summary to the drawings account of these partners. So we have Diaz and Manalo. Income summary of again 420 and 180,000 of which is for Diaz and 239684 Manalo. Okay, so ing anak lang. So ma'am, na ako y question, what if ma'am ang share nila sa interest is di ba ma'am 35200 pero what if ang ilahang profit is just um 30,000? So pasabot dili enough ma'am para makahatag kong interest sa ilahang duha? Well, the standard says that if there is an agreement or there is no agreement for interest if there would be an agreement or there would be no agreement it is said that interest must be honored regardless if there's a profit or a loss okay so kung nagsabot silang nga maghatag og interest sa ilahang capital so if that's a profit or that's a loss kailangan yun na to ihatag sa ilahang abuo okay so that 35,200 kailangan yun nato na siya ihatag sa ila. But paano yon? 30,000 nga lang ang profit. So kulangan ng 5,200, di ba? So that 5,200 will be debited ba from each account or from each partner. So pasabot ilang iabsorb ang loss ng 5,200 or ang kulang na 5,200. Anyway, positive man pud sila dinhi, di ba? So, kung ila itong i-absorb, diri ang 5,200, positive pa rin yan. Basta, the standard says, kung nagsabot mo nga maghatag og interest sa inyong kapital, mana ay profit or lugi man ang company, kailangan yun hatagan og interest. Okay? Let's proceed to letter D. Salary allowances of 50, 70 respectively and the, the balance will be divided equally. Okay? Let us have another schedule. First, unaho na to daw si salary. So, ayan, meron na agad na 120. 120,000 salary. And then the balance will be divided equally. Pila ba ang ilahang profit ganit? That's 420, right? So, pila na lang ang balance. Ma'am, 420, and then ang 120, ako nang na-distribute. So, I only have 300,000, and that will be divided equally daw. So, 300 divided by 2. Actually, the same lang naman yan sila, kasi divided by 2, ba? So, equal. 
and then that will be 150 for Diaz and 150 for Manalo as well and a total of 170 I mean 200 for Diaz and 220 for Manalo and I believe to check 420 good okay so ayan that is how we are going to distribute the profit based on the agreement of the party and then we will close again the drawings I mean the profit to each of the partners account we have 420 Diaz has the 200 and Manalo has the 220 okay so ingat lang siya ingat lang ang pag distribute sa profit well ingat pa lang ma'am sulat lang sa, sa, sa mga mas complicated na problems let's pre proceed to letter E Allowance of interest at the rate of 8% on original investments. Ayan, may, may interest. May salaries pa. And then the remainder to be divided equally. Ma'am, nagkadaghan na yun. Okay? So, chill lang. Dili makulbaan. Let us have first interest. Interest of 8%. Diba, ato naman to siyang gisolve ka ganina. Asa ganito. Here. Ayan, solve na nato ang interest on capital. So, let's just copy it. Anyway, the same computation lang naman siya. Kay same interest rate lang man po. Okay, then salaries. 50. Gimerge niya, no? So, that is again 120, right? And then, any balance should be divided equally. Pila ba ang ilahang profit? Again, that's 420. And then, ako nang na-distribute ang uban. Pila na lang man ang balance. So, I have 384. 800 remaining ma'am so how am I going to distribute this ma'am anak pa siya equally tama so divided by 2 lang so that's Diaz of 384 800 divided by 2 and Manalo of the same amount okay and that is one three two four hundred. One three two four hundred. Would you agree? Oh, two six four eight hundred. Four twenty minus this minus this. Two six four eight hundred. Palasha. Bakit 384? I'm so sorry. That's 264 800. Okay? And 264 800 divided by 2. 1, 3, 2, 400 naman pala. Okay. So, ayan. Na-distribute na natin. Let's check. Pilang ilahang balance. This plus this plus this. Okay. And Manalo has this, this, and this. Okay, let's try if mag equal ba siya kay 420. Alright, very good. Mag equal siya kay 420. Now let's proceed to our journal entry. Income summary. Okay, I will just copy and paste this one para dilita malangan. Okay, and then 420. Diaz has 208,800 and Manalo has 211,200. So there you go. We're done with problem number one. So what we encountered in this problem is first, we have the distribution according to the original capital investment. So karon kawalo nata on sa on siya pagbuhat or on sa on siya pag compute. And then, how are we going to sh um, distribute the profits with? This agreement, interest on capital. So, ato na pong na learn on saon. And distribution with salary allowances. Ayan. Check. And letter E with interest and with salaries. Alright. So, ma'am, question na po. What if, ma'am, ang salary is 120,000 but I only have 100,000 na income? Should I still give 120 to the partners? Just like interest, 
salaries should be given to the partners man na ay loss or wala. Okay? But that is if there is no agreement in case of loss. Pero kung nagsabot ang partners na, okay, in aniha, I will give you 50,000 dias and Manalo will have 70,000. Pag nakaabot ta o profit nga sobra 120. Pero pag dili ganita makaabot, so dias will only have, um, let's say, 40% of the profit and then Manalo will have 60% of the profit. So, dili na nato siya pasubraan kung dili yun nato kaya. That is, again, if na ay ingana nga klase sa agreement. Pero kung wala gani agreement ang partners, salaries will be given at an absolute amount to the partners based on the agreed amount. Okay? Now, let's proceed to problem number two. Problem number two, Modesto, Resultai, and Laguna are partners in MRL company with average capital balances for the year of 300, 400, 200. So I like this problem. Dilik na mag solve sa average capital. Yan ang gihatag. They share remaining profits and losses in a 2 is to 5 is to 3 ratio respectively after each receives a 5,000 salary and 10% and interest on his average capital balances. Now let us prepare journal entries to close the income summary. Okay, so assumption number one is that the company has a profit of 740,000. Let us prepare a schedule first. There. So we have Modesto, Resulta y Laguna first. Let us give them the salaries or the agreed salaries of each part of each partner okay diba wala man sila agreement kung about sa loss kung kulang or what so ato na lang ang hatagdaan share in profits we have um 740 in total and then ayan na distribute na si salaries pila na ba ni si salaries okay 750 Oh, so we have this idea. Ay, hindi pala. 150 pala sila lahat. Ano ba naman? Tulog ata ako ngayon. Okay, so 450, pero ilahang profit, 740. So, kaya pa di ay niya absorb So, let us ne next compute the interest based on the capital balances or average. We have Modesto 300 times 10%. So that's 0.10. And then we also have resultai of 400 times 0.10. And lastly, laguna of 200 times 0.10. Okay? So there you go. We have modesto 300 times 10, that's 30. Resultai 40,000. And 20,000 for Laguna. Okay, so how much is the interest of all the partners so that we will know kung pilan lang na remaining profit? Oh, 90,000. So we have profit of 740. Na distribute na si 450 nga salaries. Na distribute na po si 90. Our balance is 200 na lang. So we will distribute this 200 balance according to 2 is to 5 is to 3 ratio. Ayan. So, M Modesto will receive 200 times 2 divided by 10. Yun sa pagkuha ang 10. That's 2 plus 5 plus 3. And then, how much is that? I believe that is 40%. I mean 40,000. And then, Resultai will have 200,000 times 5 divided by 10. That's basically half. Share. And Laguna will have 200 times 3 divide 10. That's ag that's 60%. I mean 30%. So that's 60,000. Okay? So, dito na ibutang. And then, let's add. Modesto has the salary, interest, and sharing the balance. Laguna, I mean result I has this, has this, and this. And Laguna has this, this, 
and this okay so let's try to check if this will result to 740 all right 740 very good now let us have the entry and hindi ko na po siya inisa isa income summary ayan yung total and then modesto has this 220 and then 294 resultai and 234 laguna anyway profit naman sila lahat so ayan lalagay ka sila sa credit side okay so let us have this second assumption that what if the profit is equal to 140,000 hmm if the profit is 140,000 ibutang na na nato daan dali si 140 and then let's start salaries for modesto i guess hindi naman siya nagbago the same 150 also to resultai and to laguna again that is a total of 450 pero ato ang profit hala 140 so diri na nato ma-apply katong what if ma'am kulang Pero again, we are required to honor the salaries whether we have profit or loss since wala man sila nagsabot. Okay? Then, the interest. So, the interest is just the same. Ayan. Copy na lang natin. Anyway, alam naman na natin kung paano siya sinol. So, that's again 30, 40, 20, a total of 90. This time, pila na lang ang balance. You have 140 na profit. Imong gikuhaan og 450 para sa salaries o gikuhaan ni 90 para sa interest. So the balance is negative 400,000. Basta but nakatapal na hinuon ka kay nagdistribute man kag interest og salaries. So that 400,000 nga tapal or loss, mura na pud siyag loss tama kay naka negative siya will be absorbed by the partners nagsabot ba sila as to the losses wala so ayan nagsabot sila the same lang pala ang profits and losses ratio so the same that is 200,000 i mean 400,000 times 10% no that is 400,000 times 2 divide 10 and that is another 400,000 times 5 divide 10. And for Laguna is 400,000 times 3 divided by 10. So let us do the math and we will have these figures afterwards. We have 80, 200. Pero negative yan kasi negative naman ta negative 200 so they will absorb these losses and negative 120 for laguna ayan so dako kayo kung dako na absorb si resulta ay kaganina sa loss ay sa profit so kung losses di ay dako po siya ma-absorb so ayan fair lang ang game so let us let us add everything deda kung unsang kailangan ni deda Okay, so we have here, um, is it 70? Alitin ko ha. That is this plus this plus this. 100,000. At least positive gihapon. Let's try resultai kung positive food ba niya. Uy, positive? Ah, hindi. Negative na siya. Ayan, negative 10. Kasi ang laki ng share niya sa losses. So, I'm so sorry, pero ganyan lang talaga ang life. So, try natin i-add kung, kung mag-equal ba siya kay 140. Ayan, equal siya kay 140. But, unfortunately, result ay has a negative balance. Therefore, our entry will be income summary of 140 and then we will close it first kay modesto we have modesto drawings that is a positive 100 going to his account 
and resulta has negative so kung negative na siya that would be a debit resulta drawings a negative 10 and then we have laguna drawings a positive ma'am laguna hindi po lagina okay sorry laguna drawings of 50 ayan so um may kaibahan siya sa entry natin kanina because since these amounts are all positive so naka credit lahat ng capital accounts but this time since may isang nag negative so the debit natin siya but still, naka balance pa rin yun siya. 140 plus 10, 150. 100 plus 50, 150. Okay? So, take note of this. Bago to so far sa problems na ating sinol. Now, let's have a loss of 60,000. Kani, wana jud kay takas. Maka-absorb yun mo og loss sa magusto ninyo or dili. But let us still see if loss bag yun ang net ng inyong nakuha. Or what if they are positive gihapon kay naman kay salaries and interest na madawat. So salaries 150. So again, ma loss or um, a profit, we will give them salaries. Okay? So mag expect na lang jud tadaan nga makatapal jud ning partners. They have loss of 60. Negative 60. And then interest the same. Di naman nagbago, we are still obliged to give a certain amount para sa ilahang interest sa capital. And then any balance will be divided in the ratio 2 is to 5 is to 3. Pila ba di ay ang balance? You have a negative 60,000 uh, loss and then naghatag pa jud kag 450, unya 90. So pila nagintana ng imuhang taplono na karon? Ayan, lumaki na ng 600, lumobo na. Yung dahil dyan sa salaries and balance salaries and interest 60,000 lang unta to siya kaganina but wala tayo mabuhat agreement so 600,000 times 2 divided by 10 for M and then for resulta you have there 600 ayan dako na po kaayog share si resulta is a loss that's 5 over 10 1 half and then laguna 600 times 3 divided by 10 and do the math. Modesto will have 120,000 absorption of the loss. Resulta will have half 300,000. And Laguna will have 180. Okay? So let's add. Kung tanaw nato kung positive or negative ba ning ilahang mga la, ilahang last figures. Dami ko palang plus, plus sign. 150 plus 30 plus 120. You have neg. Ay, positive 60. So far, so good si Modesto. Lagi siyang positive. How about si Resulta? I'm afraid negative na to siya. Ayan, negative 110. How about si Laguna? Lumalaban. And 180. Ayan, negative silang dalawa. But si Modesto is positive. So let's make an entry. Let's income summary. And then meron po tayong ay since this is a loss hindi po debit si income summary. Kasi loss siya kailangan naka credit. So what do we have to debit here? Yung mga negative uh, capital accounts. We have resultai resultai drawings of 110 and also this time sinamahan na siya ni Laguna of 10 and then on the credit side going strong si Modesto of 60 and lastly your income summary of 60 this time naka debit I mean naka credit si income summary dahil loss yan siya so, kung loss, di ba? Kung loss, naka-debit. To close it, kailangan i-credit. So, ayan, 110 plus 10, 120, 60 plus 60, 120. So, anong bago dito? Ito pa rin. The negative um, shares of 
resultay and Laguna in the loss. And then going strong si Modesto, bakit nagpositive siya? Dahil ang laki ng mga salaries at interest niya, pero maliit lang yung share niya sa profit. Imagine that's 20% lang, whereas si resultay, that's 50%. So that's problem number two. Let's proceed to problem number three. Ayan. Mas nagiging complicated na mga bagay-bagay dito. A summary of changes in the capital accounts of Ria Lubin, Rabena, and De La Cruz partnership for 2019 before closing entries follows. So ito yung mga movements ng capital balances nila. So there are investments or there is an investment of Ria Lubin, April, and then malaming withdrawals iba-ibang amounts. So, let us first um, determine ano yung requirement niya. Determine the allocation of the 2019 profit to the partners under each of the following independent assumptions. Number one, profit of 48,000 and the profit is divided on the basis of average capital balances. In problem number two, binigay niya na agad cap average capital balances yung 300, 400, 200. In problem number three, hindi niya binigay. Ano yung binigay niya? Yung movements lang. Ibig sabihin, tayo yung magsusolve ng average capital balances. How? Alright, let's begin. Let us first have Ria Lubin. Ano yung movements ng capital account ni Ria Lubin? First, meron po siyang beginning balance na 80,000. So, a beginning balance of 80. And then, meron siyang investment on April 1 ayan ito po yun, of 20,000 and meron po siyang withdrawal on July 1 ng 10,000 so withdrawal of course it's a negative therefore balance ng capital account niya at the end of the year is 90,000 okay so, how are we going to determine the average, ma'am? Ganito lang. Ilang months outstanding ang ganyang amount na capital? What do I mean? January 1, 80,000. Pero, nag-change ang iyahang capital on April 1. Kaya, nag-investment siya 20. So, that's 80 plus 20. 100,000 starting from April 1. So, pila lang day ka months, 80,000 ang iyahang ang iyahang balance that is January, February, March only. So that is three months lang over the 12 month period during the year. Okay? So, at paano yun? Before nag change to 100, pila ka months outstanding a 80,000 yung balance. That's January, February, and March. Pag tung tung og April 1, dili na 80,000. That's already um, 80,000, di ba to? That's already 100,000, tama? So that's 80,000 times times 3 divide 12. This time, 100,000 na. But, pila ka months. We have here April, May, June. Kaya nga naman, starting July, dili na 100, kay nabawasan na og 10. So, 100,000 lang iyahang balance for 3 months only. That is April, May, and June. From July until December 31, pila man iyahang balance. That's 80 plus 20 minus 10, 90,000 na. So, 90,000 times from July 1 to December 31, July, August, September, October, November, December, I believe that's 6 months over 12 months. So, kung imong mapansin, kung imo nang i-add ta ng months niya, 3 plus 3 plus 6, that's a total of 12 months. Pag diligan na mo total of 12 months, usaba o ihap kay basig na mali raka. Okay? So, let's do the math. You have their 80,000 times times 3 divided by 12 that's 20 100 times 3 divided 12 that's 25 90 times 6 over 12 they are 45 let's have the total of these three amounts 
90,000. It just so happened that your ending balance of 90,000 is just the same of the average capital balance. Pero dili na siya permi ha. It's not all the time nga mag-equal na siya. This is just a mere coincidence. But, okay. Since na-solve na to, average balance is equivalent to 90,000. So, giyon sa ganito, we just have to compute kung pila siya ka months nga outstanding ang ingana nga amount. And then, if there are changes, consider the changes. So, let's apply that um, analysis to Rabena. Movements kang Rabena. You have 80,000 beginning and then nag-withdraw of 15,000 on May 1. That's 80,000. Nag-withdraw of 15,000 on May 1. Therefore, your ending balance is 65,000. Now, let's compute for the average capital balance. Pila ka months outstanding ng 80,000 ang ihang balance. That is from January 1 to April 30. Kay on May 1, nag-change ng iyahang balance. So, January 1 to March, I mean April 30, that's 4 months, tama? So, 80,000 times 4 divided by 12. And then, starting May 1, ang iyahang na lang balance is 80 minus 15, that's 65 times pila ka months until December 31. That's May 1, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 8 over 12. Let's check 4 plus 8, 12. So, pasabot tama ta. And then, let's compute times 4 divide 12. That's 26, 6, 6, 7, and 65 times 8 divide 12 that's 43 a total of 70,000 average capital balance so this time delisha pareho tama it, this is just a mere coincidence okay so ato gina gina compute kay dili gina pareha ang ending ug ang average balance and then let's proceed to the next partner we have here dela cruz Ang movements ni Dela Cruz, 90, and a withdrawal of 30 on September 1. 90, negative 30, therefore the balance is 60,000. Okay, now let's analyze. Pila ka months outstanding, 90,000 times January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August of 31. That's 8 over 12. And 60,000 na lang a balance from September 1 to December 31. And that is September, October, November, December. 4 over 12. Let's check. 8, 4 over 12. Very good. Let's compute for the average. First, 60. And then we have 20. Therefore, the average balance is 80,000. Okay. Alright, so with these amounts, let us now analyze kung pila ang ratio sa matag partner. And I already have it here. Average capital balances of the three partners. We have 90 for Ria Lubin, 70 for Dela Cruz, and 84 Dela Cruz, 70 for Rabena. Mao na siya tong gipang solve kaganina. So let, let's plot it in this schedule. And we have a total average balance of 240. Now, pila ka present si Ria Lubin out of 240. Ria Lubin has... Ayan. Di na niya isolve. That's 38%. Okay? 38%. How about Rabena? Rabena is... 29% and lastly De La Cruz that is 33% a total of 100 of course 100% so ayan in the share and their share of the profit pila ganito atong profit we have here 48,000 profit Ana pa siya. 38 of that must go to Ria Lubin. So that's 48,000 times 
38 percent 18,240 must go to Rialubin and then the same procedure but this time 29 percent to Rabena and lastly 33 percent for De La Cruz okay so so far how is it but hindi po to siya naka ano eh check ko ha kasi hindi siya naka ayan hindi pala siya exact 37.5 mm -hmm. tingnan natin 18,000 this one times 0.2917 14,002 or we could have it 14,000 and then this one times 0 0.33 or 0 0.3333 particular tayo dun sa two decimal places na ratio or lalo na pag naka, naka rate or percentage so two decimal places po tayo so let's check kung mag equal ba siya kay 400 80 Okay Ay Ayan, hindi na to maganda <laughs> Let's try to check kung mag-equal ba siya kay 48,000 Ayan, 48,000 So, let us have the journal entry Since positive naman silang lahat So, ayan, credit and then since this is a profit, nakadabit si income summary. 18,000 Ria Lubin, 14,000 for Abena, and 16,000 for De La Cruz. So that is just item number one for problem number three. Still have two. Number two, profit of 50,000. Ria Lubin receives a bonus of 10% of profit for managing the business. And the balance is to be divided on the basis of beginning capital balances. To illustrate this one, let's prepare the schedule. We have it here. First, daw maghatag do tag bonus of 10% for real lubin. So, pila ba tong yahang profit? 50. And then, real lubin receives 50,000 times 10%. So, that's 0.10. And that is 5,000. But only Ria Lubin. Siya lang naman yung nag-manage daw ng business. Ang ubang partners, kapa-kapa lang, hulat-hulat lang. Okay? So, nakuhaan na og 5,000 ang atong profit. Pila na lang man ang nabilin. That is 45,000. Very good. And then, let's have Ria Lubin. Um, it is based on the beginning capital balances. Pila ba ang ilahang capital balances? Hmm. You have it here. 80, 80, 90,000. Let us borrow this illustration. Sa problem number 2. I mean, problem number 1. So, si set up ko muna siya ha. Di ko ata siya na set up eh. Alright. So, hiramon sa nato ni para di nata mag type type o balik. Okay, ayan. Okay. So, para mas masabda nato kung giun sa nato pagkuha ang average nila. So, we have here real lubin, real lubin, and rabena, and de la cruz. Ang ilahang capital balances or beginning capital is 80,000, 80,000, and 90,000. So you have 80, 80, and 90. So, ayan. A total of 250,000 and 32% of that is for Ria Lubin, 32 for Rabena, and 36 for De La Cruz, the same process lang siya that is 80,000 divided by the total, kaya lumabas si 32%. And meron silang profit na 45 na lang remaining. Therefore, 
Riolubin will have 45 times 32 percent and then Rabena will have the same kasi pareho silang 32 percent whereas De La Cruz will have 36 and that is 16,200 and that will be the figures na mag re-reflect sa schedule alright therefore the profit of Real Lubin or his share in the profit is simply 5,000 a bonus in this very good may bonus kasi kaya ang laki <laughs> and ayan the rest yun lang wala silang bonuses let's try kung mag equal ba siya kang 50,000 hindi siya yan 45 that is this plus this plus this Bakit 66,200? Bakit to 32,400? Ayan. 16,200, 14,400, and 50,000. And, ayan. The journal entry will be the same since positive naman silang lahat. So, we will credit all the drawing accounts or the capital accounts in the amounts of 19,400, 14,400, and 16,200. Alright. So, that's item number two based on the beginning capital balances but before that bigyan muna ng bonus si Ria Lubin number three loss each partner is allowed 10 percent interest on the beginning capital balances and then the balance will be divided equally bisan pa og na ay loss kay nagsabot man sila nga na ay interest so hatagan jud na to og interest and that is based on the beginning capital balances 10 percent so that's 8,000 for Ria Lubin and then for Rabena you have there the same 80 naman pareho and then 10 percent 8,000 din whereas kay De La Cruz you have there 90 beginning balance niya times 0 0.10 9,000 for De La Cruz and that is a total of 25,000 para sa interest pero yung loss niya 35 Pila naman ta na nang ihang tap do nun. So, napa siya'y loss nga 35. And then, napa yun siya'y gipang hatag-hatag nga interest. So, ang iyahang loss ning, ning lobo na padulong 60,000. And that will be divided equally among the three partners. So, that is 60,000 divided by 3. So, the same lang yun sila. Okay. And then for De La Cruz ayan so each partner will absorb 20,000 loss dun sa negative 60 so tingnan natin kung sino magpa-positive of all these part of all the three partners kung meron man kay dako kay lang loss ayan negative 12 si Ria Lubin dun, 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 dun. negative 12 din si Rabena and negative negative 20 negative 11 for de la cruz ayan so sad lahat sila negative so sila tanan makatapal so if that's the case hindi po magiging ganito ang entry natin so let us have here the alubin drawings naka debit kasi nga loss and then let's have um, Rabena drawings, another loss. And then we have here De La Cruz, another loss of 11,000. And then your income summary of 35,000 naka debit si income summary and to close kailangan i credit kaya ayan 35,000 pag i-add naman natin yan 35,000 din naman yan siya okay so our entry lahat lahat silang tatlo loss so ayan naka debit 
okay so that's problem number three and we are down to the last problem problem number four with three questions we have here Labasan, Gabayan and Villanueva are manufacturers representatives in the architecture business their capital accounts for 2019 were as follows hmm ayan may movement din but this time ang presentation niya hindi katulad kay number three kanina nakaganyan yung presentation niya is naka account okay so requirement for each of the following independent profit and loss agreement prepare the profit distribution schedule number one salaries are 150 to labasan 200 to gawayan 180 to villanueva labasan receives a bonus of five percent of profit after bonus this term is very significant Interest is 10% of ending capital balances. Labay, Labasan, Gabayan, and Villanueva divide any remainder in a 3 is to 3 is to 4 ratio. Profit is 789,600. 79, schedule daw. O, oh, ayan. Gawa na naman tayo ng schedule. Okay? So, first, bigyan daw natin ng 5% bonus after bonus. Okay? 5% of the profit after bonus. So, ibig sabihin, 5% of the profit after bonus, ayaw sa na siya hilagti sa salaries or interest. Ayaw sa. Kanang 789, kuha isa na og bonus. Unsaon man na mang profit after bonus. It's like this. Your profit, samtang wa pa ka naghatag og bonus, is pila ba? Diba 7, 8, 9, 600 muntay mong profit? Ito yon Before bonus. Pasabot wala pa nakuwaan o bonus. But your profit after bonus is simply profit 7, 8, 9, 600 divided by 100% plus the rate of bonus. So 100% plus 5%. So that is 105. Tama? So profit 789600 divided by 105% in decimal that's 1.05 okay so 789 789600 divided by 1.05 that is 752 and then compare the two any difference that is your bonus to check try to solve 752,000 times 5% or 0 0.05. Try mo nga kung lumabas si 37,600. Okay? 37,600. San galing si 72? 752. Ayan siya. Okay? So, pwedeng ganito. Pwede ding i-deduct mo yung dalawa. The same lang naman na amount. 37,600. So, that is how we compute for bonus of profit after bonus. Pero what if ma'am sinabi niya bonus before bonus? Pag bonus before bonus, ito lang yun. 789,600 times 5%. So, if that's the case, 789,600 times 0 0.05, magkano po ba yan? That is 39,480. Okay? Yan ang magiging bonus mo pag sinabi niyang bonus before bonus. Pero sinabi niyang bonus after bonus, so ito yung magiging formula. Profit divided by 100% plus the rate of bonus. So that is 5%, kaya naging 105%. So ayan, 37,600. And then, let's distribute salaries. So, wala na ito gikwaan o sa og salaries ha, kay ingon man siya 5% of the profit after bonus. Pero kung ingon siya 5% of the profit after salaries and bonus, kwaan sa natog salaries bago na ito, i-distribute ang bonus. So, that's 150, 200, and then 180. And that is a total of 530,000. How about the interest? Ano siya 10% of the ending capital balances? Pilay ending capital balances. Ma'am, wala pa man na solve Edi, let's solve. Okay. 
So, pila ba ta ng debit? So, that's 80. And then, this time, ang tanang debit is 360. Therefore, the capital balance is 360 minus 80, 280. How about this one? You have here 90. And you have here 490. Therefore, your balance is, I believe that's 400. All right, 400. And then lastly, for Villanueva, you have 120 debit. And then you have a credit of 600. You just have to deduct the two. Okay. 600 minus 120, 480. Ayan. So, ito, ito na po yung mga ending balances and then sabi niya 10% of that. Okay. Let's have labasan. 280 times 10% and we also have gabayan of 400,000 times 10% and we also have Villanueva of 480,000 times 10% and that is 28, 40, and 480, 48 I mean. And then the total of which is, ayan, 116. Any balance will be divided by 3 is to 4 is, 3 is to 3 is to 4 ratio. So pila day ang balance ma'am. Let's solve. Pilang iyong profit gani? 798. 789,600. Out of 789,600, na distribute na nato si 37,600. Okay, wait muna ha. Lagay muna natin dito si 37,600. Okay, balance is this minus this minus this and minus this. Pilay na bilin. Ay, buti na lang positive. Kundi, i-absorb yun nila ang loss. So, Sabi pa niya, 3 is to 3 is to 4, so that is labasan 106 times 3 divided by 10. Paano kinuha si 10? Sorry, parang umapir ata yung lobat na ano. That's 3 plus 3 plus 4, 10. And then we have gabayan of 106 times 3 divide 10 pa rin. And lastly, Villanueva of 106 times 4 divided by 10 and that will be how much hmm? 106 times 3 divided by 10 times 3 divided by 10 31 800 the same po ata dito that's 31 800 and Ultimately, we have here 106 times 4 divided by 10. Okay? So, after that, let us compute kung ilan po ang share nila sa profit. So, that's this plus this plus this, saka plus this. Okay? And then, Ito na lang, since ang dami naman nila. 27,800, 270,400. Let's try to add if 789,600 bagyod plus this plus this. Ayan, 789,600. So let us prepare journal entry based on these amounts. Alright, ayan. Ria Lubin. Ria Lubin pa ba to? Labasan na to. Okay? Labasan drawings. And then we have Gabayan drawings and Villanueva drawings. Ayan, 270, 274, dito yan. And then 27800. Villanueva is this, 270, 400. Yan, bali na siya. Okay, so there you have it. Number one for problem number four. And then let us have number two. 
Interest is 10% of average capital balances. Salaries are 240 to Labasan and then 210 for Gabayan, 250 for Villanueva. But again, ayan na naman yung bonus. 10% of profit after bonus and salary. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina na pwedeng may mga cases na kuhaan lang sa og salary before ta mag-distribute og bonus. And ito na yung problem na yun. So, yung profit na 680,800, kuhaan sa nato na siya salary, and then we will give 10% bonus from the profit after bonus. I guess, alam naman na natin kung paano isolve yung profit after bonus. So, I'll give you some time to analyze. Let's prepare a schedule first. All right. Ayan. So, first, kwaan sa natong salary si 68800. Kaya ano man siya nga ang bonus after na daw kang salaries. Okay? 10% bonus after bonus and salary. So, ikaduha lang na si bonus din ha. Unlike kaganina, nauna si bonus sa ato ang schedule before salaries. But this time, ano man siya kuhaan sa dog salary. So, let's plot pilang salaries 240 and then 210 and lastly 254 Villanueva. A total of 700,000. Pila lang kaya ang profit? Oh no, our profit is just 680,800. So, let's expect na naagid tayo taplo nun ani later. Okay, so bonus is sabi niya after salary and bonus. Paano po yan siya i-compute, ma'am? Ganito yan. Profit before bonus. Before bonus, ito yun. 680-800. Profit after bonus. Pila ba ka-present ang iyong giingon? 10%. Uh, Ay, hindi na pala 680-800. Bakit? After salary man daw. So, before bonus, after but after salary. So, paano po yan siya isusolve, ma'am? Um, hmm, ganito lang. 680-800. Kuhaan daw ang salary, 700,000. <gasps> Negative 19,200. Okay, I have a question. Di ba maghatag man taong bonus? Basta nakakita ang kumpanya. Okay? Kaya nga may bonus kasi very good performance for you. But, what happened if there is a negative? Okay? Do we have to give a reward in the form of bonus pa rin? Do we still have to give a reward? I bet not. Okay? Because bonuses are given if there is a favorable performance or a favorable outcome of your company's operation. Hindi po to favorable etong negative. We consider this unfavorable a loss. So if that is unfavorable, hindi mo rin deserve na magkaroon ng bonus. And what do I mean by that? Sino nga yung bibigyan ng bonus? Gabayan. Sorry Gabayan, pero kulang pa yung effort mo. Wala ka pong bonus this time. Okay? Unlike ka kanina kay Kinsa to, naghat-ghat agad, okay si Labasan. Hmm. Okay? So, this time, Gabayan, I'm so sorry, pero hindi po enough yung effort mong nag-680, 800 ka. Kasi po, meron po tayong 700,000 na salaries. And these 700,000 salaries, agreed, agreed na yan in the beginning. So, ibig sabihin, kung ikaw yung managing director, managing partner, alam mo na na magbibigay ka ng 700,000 salaries sa mga kapwa partners more even sa sarili mo therefore your goal should have been more than 700,000 profit but sadly you just have you only have 68800 so hindi nyo po deserve magkaroon ng bonus so wala po tayong bonus kasi negative so let's not mind solving for that wala din naman tayong masusolve and then let's proceed to interest ano bang sabi niya sa interest mm 10% of average capital balances. Magsusolve na naman tayo ng average capital balances. Let's proceed to this um, presentation. Let us begin with Labasan. 
Tingnan natin ang movements ng capital ni Labasan from the beginning. Labasan has a beginning of 300, nag-invest ng 60 and nang withdraw ng 80. Okay? So that's 300. Nag-invest ng 60 on May 1 and then nag-withdraw ng 90 on September. Oh, 80. 80 on September, therefore meron ka pong ending balance na 280,000. Okay? Ang saan ganin na, ito siya pag-analyze ka ganina, pila siya ka months outstanding na yung ana ang iyahang amount. 300,000 balance was outstanding from January 1 to April 30. That is before May 1 and that is equivalent to 4 months. And then, starting May 1 to August 31, that is before September 1, you have 360 balance. That is May, June, July, August, another 4 months. And lastly, naging 280,000 na lang. That is from September 1 to December 31. So, September, October, November, December, 4 months then. So, that's 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. So, good. Okay, let's compute. 300 times times 4 divided by 12 you have 100,000 times 4 divided by 12 you have 120 and lastly you have 93333 parang parang 93333 pag makakita ganik og bungki kay murag maano dayon ko nga ha murag di ko ganahan ani okay So, but anyway, wala naman tayong magagawa. So, yan yung lumabas. Let's just add. Okay, that's 313333 na average capital balance. Then, let's work with our next partner and that is Gabayan Movements. You have one, uh, 400 beginning, nag-withdraw ng 90, nagdugang og 50, nagdugang og 40. All right, let's plot. That is 400. Nag-withdraw ng 90. Nag-add ng 50. Nag-add ng 40. Okay. Very good. So, analyze na po na ito. Pila ka months outstanding. From January 1 to March 1. So, that's 2 months lang. Okay. And that is 400. Feel na ko. Okay. May pag-iana na lang natin. Ay, hindi rin ito siya magko-compute. Okay, 667. 667. Bungkig na po. So, parang ano na po ko. Okay, 400 minus 90. That is 310 times pila ka months outstanding from March 1 going to June 30. So, that's March, April, May, June. 4 over 12. And lastly... I mean, di pa pala last. Meron pa tayong 360 times July 1 to August 31. So, that's July, August. Two months lang din. And lastly, we have 400 times September, October, November, December. For, let's try to check. 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4. That's 12 months. Okay? So, let's do the math. 310 times 4 divide 12, 360 times 2 divide 12, and lastly, 400 times 4 divide 12. Therefore, you have a total of 36333, and this is 36333, and this is our average capital balance. And lastly, we have Villanueva. Ano bang movements ng Villanueva Capital? 500 beginning and then 70, 30 and then withdrawal of 120. So that's 500, 70, and then 120. Okay? And you have there a total of 480 net capital. Ayun, 480. So, let's analyze. You have 500 times January 1 to March 31. So, that's 3 divided 12. And then, 570,000 times 
April 1 to June 1. That's April, May. Two months lang yan. And then we have 600 times June, July. Another two months. And lastly, we have 480,000 times mm, August, September, October, November, December. That's five months. Three plus two plus two plus five that is 12 Tama. so that's 500 times 3 divide 12 and then 570 times 2 divide 12 and then 600 times 2 divide 12 and lastly 480 times 5 divide 12 and you have there an average capital balance for Villanueva of 520,000 Alright, so let's distribute this one ng matapos na to. You have there, there 313, 363, and 520. Ayan na po siya. And a total of 1,196,667. Okay. Pero sabi niya, problem number 4, question number 2, sabi niya 10% of the average capital balances. So sabi niya 10% lang lahat. Ano na tayo? Let's, let's be fair. Okay, so 10%. Ayan. So, magkano ba to? That's times 10%. And then this one. Times this one. And then, lastly. And you have there a total of 119667. That's basically this one times 10%. So, these contrib uh, distribution will be reflected in our schedule. Ayan na po sila. Interest and 31333, 36333, and 52. And you have their total of 119667. And then the balance will be divided equally. So, tingnan natin kung ilan yung balance. And I'm sure negative to. 680, tapos, nagtugatuga ta og distribute og 700. And then, naghatag pa yung interest nga 119. So, naatay apsunon. Okay na atay gokoronon nga negative 138867 and that will be distributed equally daw so divided by 3 so you have 46 um, that's 46288 okay negative 46288 and then negative yan siya and then meron din da dito negative 46288 and consider po natin yung rounding off eh, ano yan eto minus this minus this a balance of 46,291 so that's a matter of round, rounding off pero dapat di ba equal sila pero immaterial naman din naman yung piso or yung dalawang piso tatlong piso kaya wag na lang din so, pwede na rin naman na 46291 if we want. Okay? So, ayan. Let's see kung pila ang ilahang share. Sino kaya ang magpa-positive? Sino ang magna-negative? Ay, bongga. Positive silang lahat. Okay? Tingnan nga natin kung mag-equal -e ba tong lahat. This one this plus this plus this hindi na siya kaya makuan ah ok ok Ka -calculate na lang po, calculator na lang po kasi nagloloko ang formula this one plus this one plus this one ayun yan na naman ok Ay, nawala na. Hindi ko na lang po siya gagalawin or else magbabago na naman. So, that's 680,800. Tingnan lang po natin. Isolve lang po natin ng isa-isa. Or this could be 255,710. Something like that. Okay? So, if, if may hindi man na uh, hindi man equal that 
maybe because of the rounding off. Ah, equal naman pala siya so far. So, okay lang. Rounding off yang siya. Okay? So, here is the journal entry for assumption number two. Let's proceed to assumption number three, the last, uh, last item for this problem. And let us have this schedule. Villanueva receives a bonus of 20% of profit after bonus and salaries. Salaries are again 210, one, 180, and 150. And that is 540 in total. So far, okay pa naman. Kasi 929 naman si profit. Ayan, 929. Kana yan? 400. Okay? So 929, 400 profit. And then let's have bonus of 20% after bonus and salaries. So ito na yung kinatatakot ko. Charot. Profit before bonus is simply. Si, paano ba? Magkano ba ang 929 minus 540? Sige nga. That's 929-400 minus 540. And that will be the bonus, af, uh, bonus or the profit before bonus but after salary. Kasi sabi niya, after bonus and salary. Okay? So, kanina, wala pong bonus na binigay dun sa isang partner kasi negative. Pero ito, I believe, hindi po to negative. So, magkano po ba yan siya? 929-400 minus 540-123. So, that's 389-440 na profit before bonus but after salary. That, not bad. Now, profit after bonus. Sabi niya 120. Therefore, yan si 389, 400. Kukunan pa yan siya ng 20%. So, di ba formula natin is profit divided by 100% plus the rate of bonus. And that is 20%. Kaya naging 120% in decimal form. That's 1.20 or 1.2. So, how much is 389,400 divided by 1.2. That's 324,500. 3, Compare the two, you have a bonus of 64,900. Or you could have this, another alternative solution. 324,500 times 20%. That is 0.2. That's what I'm saying. 0.20. So 64,900. Again, that's 324,500 times 0.20. The same. 64,900 din. Kanino ko ba ibibigay yung bonus? Oh, Villanueva this time. Ang galing naman ni Villanueva. Umabot siya dun sa bonus. Hindi katulad kay Gabayan kanina. Walang bonus. Sad life. 64,900 and then you have an interest of 10% of the beginning capital balances. Magkano ba ang capital balances ng mga partners na to? You have their 300, 400, and 500 for Villanueva. So, 300 na 10% times 0.10. And then Gabayan has 400 times 0.10. And we have Villanueva of 500 times 0.10 so that's basically 30 40 and 50 a total of how much so this plus this plus this you have 120,000 interest and any balance will be divided using the ratio 8 is to 7 is to 5 so here it is ilan po ba yung balance tingnan natin you have a profit of 929 nag distribute ka ng 540 na salary nagbigay ka ng 64900 na bonus and an interest of 120 you only have 204500 remaining profit so so far so good kasi positive siya so wala po tayong iaabsorb na loss so 204500 times magkano po ba yun 8 is to 7 is to 5 so 8 over 20 paano kinuha si 20 that's 8 plus 7 plus 5 and then you have their Gabayan, 204,500 times 7 divided by 20. And you have Villanueva for 
500 times 5 divided by 20. 500 times 80. So you have 81, 800, and then you have here 75, 575. Let's just do the math. And then 51, 125. And you have there a total of... 316025 for Villanueva, 291575 for Gabayan, and 321800 for Labasan. Let's see if, if it will be equivalent to the profit. 292400. Alright. So, sakto na di ay. Yung ato ang pag distribute. Walay kulang, walay sobra. Your journal entry will be income summary. And then, bakit real lubin na naman to? Okay, you have here labasan. Labasan. Di natin ka move on. And then, you have gabayan. Gabayan. Drawings. And Villanueva. Drawings. Okay, so, ayan, nag-reflect na po. Hindi pa pala. There, and then 291575, and this one, 316025, Journal entry will be this. So, so far, natapos na po natin yung four problems that I prepared, and I hope that you will have more time to answer other problems then. Um, and other videos... In YouTube, meron din po ang daming discussion about partnership, partnership formation, operation, dissolution, liquidation, and all of those stuff. Okay, so I encourage you to um, practice solving, and through that, mas madami kayong malilearn. Okay, so again, this is our second part, the second part of our partnership accounting discussion so we have formation in the first video and then operation in the second video and in the next video we will have partnership dissolution okay so thank you for listening thank you for watching and i hope you learned something goodbye everyone and god bless